Hello and welcome to The Right Machine. Today we're going to discuss the selection of your machine and what can be done. What we're looking at on this video, it's going to be the first video of a series taking you from selecting a machine right to the full completion of it. Many people are converting over to CNC. They're taking their manual machines for reasons of efficiency, productivity, they're doing very small machines and we've done some very large machines. The size of the machine doesn't matter. The quality is of importance and this is what we're going to be talking about today is what to look for. So if you have a small machine or a production machine or a good engine lathe, what we're going to be discussing is what to look for when you're selecting a machine. A lot of hobbyists have taken their small machines and converted them over and in the last year there's been several large shops, jobbing shops, they've taken their machines and they've converted them and they found that the payback has been very well taken care of. When we talk selecting a machine, it doesn't have to be a metalworking machine. Uh, we could do it with woodworking lathes also. This video here is dedicated strictly to lathes, so the uh, concept of anything that we'll be turning, later on we're going to be doing videos on milling machines and routers, uh, plasma cutters. So as we're going to be discussing, you can uh, you probably already own a small lathe or you may own a larger machine and you want more information on it, I'm offering this to you. I've done small machines and large machines and they're very successful and very proud of them. The advantage of doing an engine lathe is you have the dual purpose. You can run it yourself as an engine lathe in a manual mode or you can run it in CNC mode. So a few things we want to look for is the condition of the machine that we're starting with. You want to make sure you have a good cross slide because that's going to be the uh, working part of the machine and your bed or your z-axis if you can get a machine that has a wide ax a wide bed the rigidity is going to be well worth it and the condition of it is very important also all in all just make sure you got yourself a good piece of iron so you'll be pleased with what you've done uh, once the project's completed so as we move forward, once you've selected what machine you want to build, uh, later on in the videos we're going to be talking about tearing down, what to replace on it, and where to go, and it's not limited to just turning machines, um, but we'll be discussing ball screws, servos, how to tweak them, what software you'll need, but today we're just talking about selecting a lathe and having a good piece of equipment already converted over be it a young machine or brand new or an old machine you can pick them up on eBay in the newspaper at your local dealer or even possibly buy a brand new one and convert it over uh, you'll have a CNC at a fraction of the cost so if you follow the videos you'll be uh, taking a step by step the next video I'll be doing will be on a mill and then after that we're going to start doing uh, conversions and what to look for and how to do it. So I look much forward to you and I'm here for you. If you have any questions just email me and uh, I'd be more than pleased to help you and direct you where to go uh, to select what you need to purchase and you know how to uh, go about doing it. I've got five machines behind me already in my own garage and I've helped several other people do theirs. So. I hope you follow us and enjoy it. It's a good trip to be on. Looking forward to you in my next video. Thank you.